Morielli. A little under 
Southern and college teams are outnumbered about 10 to 1 here, so uh, <laughs> very good though. So how about this program's all about the people, how about we all do this together? Let's count down from 10, join the game design committee, let's see the new game. You guys ready? are distributed around the field. Alliances of two teams each operate their robots from control stations at the sides of the field. The field is divided by a set of troughs elevated 15 inches above the floor. There are three types of goals in SAC attack. Floor goals, troughs, and high goals. The objective of the game is to get as many points as you can by placing sacks and bonus sacks in the goals. The colored alliance starting tiles are the floor goals. A sack scored in the floor goal is worth one point, and a bonus sack scored here is worth six points. The elevated scoring troughs are the mid-level goals. A sack scored in the trough is worth five points, and a bonus sack in the trough is worth 10 points. The high goals are located 30 inches above the floor. A sack scored in the high goal is worth 10 points, and a bonus sack in the high goal is worth 15 points. The alliance with the most points at the end of the autonomous period gets a 10 point bonus. And the alliance with the most robot by touching one of its own floor goals at the end of the match receives a 10 point bonus. The match begins with each robot on their alliance starting tile. Each robot may be preloaded with one sack. A 15 second autonomous period starts the match. During the autonomous period, robots can score sacks using pre-programmed instructions. At the end of this period, the drivers take over the controls. Each alliance gets four sacks to use as driver control loads during the driver control period. As the driver control period starts, teams command their robots to score as quickly as they can. When designing your robots, remember that the sacks can be real obstacles. Sacks that leave the playing field will be returned at the point where they exited. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions. Thing 
is a simple one, but something we've had a lot of requests for. The game was finished early. The field was finished early. The scoring objects were finished early. And they are all available for purchase right now at this event if you want them. have one of these, an iPhone or an Android phone. Because guess what? We've made a tool to make that sack pack that much easier for you. Take a look at the screen. <laughs> That's right. We now have our game manual and a score calculator online available for you to download to your phone. You can look up the rule or search the word. You have any questions, you can find out right now. Look how easy you can find stuff. That's amazing. No more thumbs through binders, no more printing all this stuff out. And if you ever want to find out what the score is, just boom, 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 use the score calculator. It's right there for us. Boom, boom, pal, and me. <laughs> it is pretty sweet stuff up there. One other thing we want to draw your attention to, related to the robot rules. We decided to open things up a little bit this year. You're still only allowed to use 10 motors on your robot, but you can use whichever VEX motors you'd like. Because using a bigger, higher power, higher current draw motor is not always the best solution. You need to be careful and cognizant of engineering trade-offs in your robot design. So, I got one question for you. What do you think of SAC attack? Vex Gateway is not over. In fact, the best day of Vex Gateway is coming up tomorrow. We're going to finish up our qualification matches, we're going to play our elimination rounds, and we are going to find out who really is Champion 